Hello, this is Mr. White, and this is the uh, Science 6 Planets PowerPoint. I'm going to be reading through it here. So first we have Mercury. Mercury is the planet nearest the Sun. It's so close that if you were standing on Mercury, the Sun would appear two and a half times bigger than what it looks like here on Earth. Even the best sunscreen wouldn't be enough on Mercury. The Sun's rays are about seven times stronger than on Earth. Mercury is dry, very hot, and practically airless. Mercury is also the smallest planet in our solar system. Because it's often blocked by the glare of the sun, Mercury can be hard to see without a telescope. Mercury is named after a Roman god who was a messenger known for his speed. As a planet, Mercury moves around the sun faster than any other. It revolves around the sun about once every 88 Earth days. Did you know, even though Mercury is, is the closest planet to the Sun, it is not the hottest planet. Venus, the second planet from the Sun, has hotter temperatures than Mercury. This is because Venus has a thick layer of clouds that trap in heat like a blanket. Mercury is made up of rock, with iron at its core. Its surface looks a lot like our moon, with many craters. Radar images from Earth show that craters at Mercury's north and south poles may contain frozen water, or ice. Scientists couldn't believe it at first. Parts of Mercury reach 800 degrees Fahrenheit, or 427 degrees Celsius, so they definitely didn't expect to find ice. But it turns out the poles of Mercury are always in the shade of the sun, so they remain extremely cold. By the way, you never be able to enjoy a blue sky on Mercury. Because there's no atmosphere, the sky always appears black. You might even see stars during the daytime. Venus. Did you know that Earth has a twin? It's Venus, the second planet from the Sun. Venus is the planet that comes closest to Earth, even though it's still very far away. About 24 million miles, or 39 million kilometers. Venus is almost the same size as Earth and is made up of similar material, so that's why scientists call it Earth's twin. Venus is Earth's opposite in other ways. Because it's much closer to the Sun than Earth, Venus is extremely hot on its surface, about 870 degrees Fahrenheit or 466 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than any other planet. It's even hotter than most ovens. Venus is also very dry. Scientists think Venus used to have a lot of water, just like Earth, but it all, all boiled away from the heat. Much of Venus is now covered by volcanoes. It has the most of any planet, and some are huge, up to 150 miles, or 241 kilometers long. Although astronauts have never landed on Venus, several spacecraft without people on board have visited. Those spacecrafts have taken very detailed pictures of Venus. The most famous one was named Magellan, and it orbited Venus for four years, ending in 1994. Using radar, Magellan made detailed maps of almost all of Venus's surface. Did you know? Venus was named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Venus is known as the cloudy planet. The clouds on Venus aren't made from water like Earth's clouds. They're made of a poison called sulfuric acid. Venus and Mercury are the only planets without moons. When you look into the night sky, you can often spot Venus. That's because it's the brightest thing you can see, except for the sun and moon. Venus is sometimes called the morning star, or evening star, because it appears brightest shortly before sunrise and shortly after sunset. Venus is unique among our solar system's planets in one unusual way. It's the only planet to rotate clockwise on its axis, in the same direction that you'd see the hands of a clock move. All the other planets turn in the opposite direction, known as counterclockwise. Earth. Earth is the just right planet. It's not too close to the sun, and it's not too far away. That means Earth doesn't get too hot or too cold, unlike all the other planets. Because of its comfortable temperatures, Earth is the only place in the entire universe where we know that life exists. That makes Earth very special. Earth is unique in another way, too. 
Living creatures must have water to survive. Since water covers about 70% of Earth's surface, our planet is an ideal place to support life in many different forms. The rest of Earth's surface is made up of seven land masses, called continents. Scientists say Earth is about four and a half billion years old. Fossils show microscopic life that first appeared about a billion years ago. Evidence of the first human beings come much later, only about 200,000 years ago. That's many millions of years after the dinosaurs became extinct. Earth is the fifth largest planet and the third planet from the Sun, which is about 93 million miles away. It takes one year for Earth to travel completely around the Sun. Earth also spins around like a top, going about a thousand miles an hour. You'd think we'd all need seat belts. Earth rotates around like this every 24 hours, and that's what gives us day and night. Earth is divided into several layers. The top part is called the crust. The part below that is called the mantle. And the part in the center is called the core. The core is solid and probably made of iron. Temperatures at the center of the core may be even hotter than the surface of the sun. Scientists who study Earth are called geologists. Astro astronauts can also study the Earth from space, adding to what we know about our unique and beautiful blue and green planet. Don't you feel lucky to live on the just right planet? Mars. The red planet Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and one of Earth's next door neighbors. Mars was named after the Roman god of war because of its reddish orange color looks a lot like blood. The special color actually comes from rust and other minerals in its soil. The surface of Mars includes many amazing features. There's a canyon that's much deeper and longer than the Grand Canyon in Arizona. There's also a volcano that's the largest in our solar system. Olympus Mons volcano is 14 miles tall. That's three times higher than Mount Everest. The base of Olympus Mons is about the size of the state of Missouri. Scientists say there's strong evidence that water once flowed over the surface of Mars. They also think there still may be water on some planets underneath the surface. You may have to read a book, or may have read a book, or seen a movie that features Martians. There's no evidence of any little green men on Mars, but some scientists do think they found proof that tiny, microscopic creatures once lived on Mars. The evidence comes from meteorites found on Earth. Other scientists say that they don't believe it, so we don't know the right answer. Scientists have sent radio-controlled robots to Mars. These machines, called rovers, have cameras, microscopes, and drills on them. Scientists can drive the rovers around the red planet, just like the radio-controlled toy cars many kids have on Earth. The rovers are actually able to send pictures back to Earth. While rovers roam the planet every day, no person has ever set foot on Mars. NASA has made plans for a manned mission to take place decades from now. Perhaps then we'll learn the truth of whether there was once life on a planet besides Earth. Jupiter. If Jupiter were a person, it might run around chanting, I'm number one. I'm number one. That's because Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system and the one that spins the fastest. It also has the most moons of any planet and the largest moon. Jupiter also has the strongest gravity of all the planets. Ancient astronomers knew what they were doing when they named Jupiter after the Roman, go the Roman king of the gods. It would take about a thousand Earths to fill up Jupiter. But for a gigantic planet, Jupiter moves very fast. It rotates on its axis about every 10 hours, compared to Earth, which takes 24 hours. Jupiter takes about 12 years to orbit the Sun. Jupiter isn't first in everything. It's the fifth planet from the Sun, and it's only the third brightest object in the sky, behind the Moon and Venus. Jupiter is one of the gas giants. Its surface is made of thick, red, brown, yellow, and white clouds. One huge area of that surface is called the Great Red Spot. That's where a storm three times bigger than Earth has raged for more than 300 years. Imagine wind stronger than a hurricane lasting for centuries. Jupiter has at least 63 moons. <coughs> Most are fairly small, 
but four are quite large. They were first discovered by the astronomer Galileo in the year 1610, using one of the earliest telescopes. The largest of Jupiter's moons is named Ganymede. It's even bigger than the planet Mercury. Six space probes have traveled to Jupiter, so scientists have a lot of information about the planet. You can do your own study of Jupiter just by staring at the night sky. If you see a really bright star that's high in the sky, you're probably seeing Jupiter, the number one planet. Saturn. If you don't count Earth, the most beautiful planet in our solar system may be Saturn. Saturn has seven thin rings that surround its middle, but don't actually touch it. The rings are made of billions of pieces of ice and can only be seen with a telescope. You can spot the rest of Saturn using your eyes. It's the second largest planet in the solar system, and it's the third brightest planet in the sky. It usually looks yellow. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and is named after the Roman god of agriculture. Scientists believe Saturn is a giant ball of gas with no solid surface. Inside, they think there's a hot, solid core of rocky material surrounded by an, by an outer core of gas. Saturn is considered one of the four gas giant planets. If you've ever been through a hurricane, you know what extremely strong winds are like. But even a hurricane is nothing compared to the winds on Saturn. Its strongest winds blow at more than a thousand miles per hour, or a thousand six hundred kilometers per hour. Saturn is also quite cold because it's far from the sun. The temperature is about 285 degrees below zero in Fahrenheit, or minus 176 Celsius. In 2004, a spacecraft named the Cassani began to orbit Saturn. This was the first in-depth and close-up view of the planet. Cassani has given, us, has given us amazing pictures of Saturn, its rings, and its moons. Scientists have discovered that Saturn's largest moon, named Titan, is similar to Earth before there was life. By the way, if you were born on Saturn, you'd have to wait a long time for your birthday to arrive. The length of a, year, the length of a Saturn year is 29.5 Earth years, because that's how long it takes Saturn to revolve around the Sun. Uranus Uranus is a giant icy ball of gas and liquid with a solid center. It's the seventh planet from the Sun and the furthest that you can see without a telescope. Although Neptune is even further from the Sun, Uranus is the coldest planet in our solar system. The temperature of its atmosphere is minus 350 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 212 centigrade. When viewed from space, Uranus is a pretty pale blue color. The color comes from clouds on the surface made up of tiny crystals of methane gas. Uranus also has rings like Saturn, though they aren't very noticeable. The rings are made of ice and rock. Did you know? Uranus is a very windy planet. On the surface, hurricane-like winds are blowing at speeds of around 200 miles per hour. Uranus is so big that 50 Earths could fit inside of it. At least 21 moons orbit around Uranus, somewhat like a Ferris wheel. But the most unique part about Uranus is that it's tilted. On Earth, we have the North Pole and the South Pole. But everything is topsy-turvy in Uranus. Its poles are on its sides, and it orbits the Sun on its side. The strange way that it spins can mean nights on some part of Uranus last more than 40 years. Scientists think a planet as big as Earth may have crashed into Uranus at some point, dipping it onto its side. There's another fun fact about Uranus. It's the only planet named after a Greek god instead of a Roman god. Uranus was the Greek god of the sky and the husband of Earth. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun and the one that's the furthest away. Pluto is even further, but it doesn't count since most astronomers no longer consider it a planet. Neptune is a cold, dark place that's the smallest of the gas giants. It was named after the Roman god of water and the sea. Neptune is a ball of gas and ice with a rocky core. Thick, bright blue clouds cover the surface. They're made up mainly of frozen methane gas. Like the other gas giant planets, Winds that blow Neptune's clouds around are very strong. 
Scientists say winds reach speeds of up to 700 miles an hour. Neptune isn't quite as cold as Uranus, but its largest moon, Titan, is even colder. Triton has a surface temperature of minus 390 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the coldest known temperature in the solar system. Scientists think that Triton used to be a large comet that became trapped in Neptune's gravity. How it was named. Neptune was named for the Roman god of the sea. Early astronomers may have named it after the sea because of its deep blue color. Because it's so far away, Neptune only has one visit from a spacecraft. NASA's Voyager 2 flew by Neptune in 1989. Voyager discovered a huge storm on Neptune that is called the Great Dark Spot, similar to Jupiter's Great Red Spot. But later pictures from the Hubble telescope found that the Great Dark Spot had vanished. Luckily for us, Neptune and Earth don't have much in common. But one thing is very similar. The force of gravity pulling you down is almost the same on Neptune and Earth. Of course, if you tried to walk on Neptune, you'd be pulled in toward the center because there's no solid surface to stand on.